Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bird, and I am here today with my March fabric haul. Actually, I know it's only, what, March 11th, and some of these things I actually picked up in February, but I didn't get a chance to do a haul in February, so you are getting basically my early March um, haul, and actually maybe I will just do it at the beginning of every month. I have 11 different pieces, all amazing in their own right that I want to share with you guys, but I have some sundry items, some notions, and some other things that I've picked up that I want to share with you guys because I think they're all excited. So let's dive in. All right, so I want to get started with three fabrics that um, I picked up from Minerva. I am one of their ambassadors, so it's Minerva.com. I have links in my bio. I'll also drop a link in the description. So let me get started with the three pieces of fabric that I have from Minerva. So disclaimer, two of them are super small because as soon as I got them, I immediately cut them and I started sewing. And I don't want to share the project yet because they're not done. So I want to start off with the first piece. This is what I have left. And I might have, might have um, maybe a half or three quarters of a yard left of this. This is called Proud Posy. It is one of Minerva's newest. So this is brand new, guys. You, um, you may, you definitely can find it on their website. But this is one of their new uh, Visco Shali. And I always say that wrong, so forgive me if I said it wrong. It's the Baltimore in me, <laughs> but it is gorgeous. What I love about this particular fabric is it has a pretty decent, a fair drape, a fair drape. And look at the vibrant colors, which I think are amazing for spring and summer. If you know me and you follow me, and hopefully you are following and subscribing, I love a blue, I love an orange. You guys know I just love colors. And this one does not dis disappoint at all beautiful flowers throughout, nice and nicely spaced on the background, which is kind of like, I would say, a. it looks maybe navy blue. I would say maybe it is even a navy, navy blue type violet, um, but really pretty. So I have enough of that left. I've already made something special, so stay tuned, but I have enough maybe that I can do a summer blouse. So I'm excited for that. So that's the first one. And I'm going to sit that off to the side. The next one, I made um, actually a sneak peek. I made these Nomi, and what is the pattern number? It is Nomi ME20. Forgive me for going off screen. I have to look at the pattern. So 2054, Marsha Spencer's new Nomi pattern. And I made these gorgeous pants out of it. With the pockets i'll do a full pattern review about this in a little bit and they have these amazing gusseted kind of canvas pockets even in the back as well really great what i love is the crossover kind of waistband here so i use this really yummy lightweight um, again, Minerva.com. This is a linen, but it's a linen visco. So with that blend of the linen and a visco, linen, you guys know, you can iron linen 10 times and the next time you look around, it is wrinkled again. I love the blended linen because it's easy to iron and it doesn't wrinkle as easy as easily. So I really do love that combination. And this one is really pretty. It has kind of like it's a white background, but a little bit off-white with these beautiful black, it looks like paint splatter, like if you're in a paint room and you're just kind of splashing black paint on the wall. And this one is called Surreal, S-U-R-R-E-A-L, Spots. And I, don't pro I probably don't have enough to make anything else out of this, but this is gorgeous. Maybe I could use it to make a um, a tote bag or a small handbag or something, but this one is really pretty. It's a real spot. It's a linen visco. Okay. And then the third thing that I have from Minerva.com, and this is a sneaky peek because I am going to Atlanta Frocktails. 
um, in early May. If you don't know what a frock tail is, a frock tail is essentially a party for makers, sewers, knitters, etc. And pretty much everyone wears something that they make. And it's just a huge celebration. And the theme for Atlanta Frock Tales, I believe, is called um, Hidden Hidden Garden. Hidden Garden Garden is the theme. So I wanted to go with something that I could layer over um, another dress. So I'm planning to make something that might be like a slip dress. This is early thinking, so things may actually change. But when I saw this embroid embroidered tool um, from Minerva um, and the whole garden theme for Atlanta Frocktails, this really spoke to me. And I'm going to bring it up closer to you. Um, let me get it so you so it's sheer. Um, and I want to wear a very fitted dress underneath. I see myself in a caftan that when I walk, I bring the drama. It's just moving. It's airy because, you know, Atlanta can be hot and it's probably going to be hot in May. But I think this is going to be gorgeous and it really speaks to spring. Um, it kind of gives off that whole garden vibe. I can see myself just ah, drinking tea or whatever in my little cup. So I have enough of this and I'm excited to work on that. So I'll share some sneaky peeks along the way. I'm hoping to be able to really use the scalloped edges without cutting or hemming. So I have to really um, play with this one, but I do, I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me sit that one off to the side. Those are the three fabrics from Minerva, they always send you some information about how to take care of your fabric, caring for your fabric. You should always wash and dry your fabric just so you can address any shrinkage issues. So they always have a little bit of information, um, a QR code if you want more information about their fabric. And they included this time a little guide or a, um, a flyer about their ultimate guide to fabric and fibers. So for all of their fabric and just fabric in general, you can actually order this guide. It says that there are detailed information about um, on over 70 base cloths. Um, you can learn about fibers, fabric construction, um, there are sewing tips, inspiration and everything. So this is pretty neat. This is pretty neat. So that's something you may wanna check out. Again, it is Minerva's Fabric Guide. And I will drop a link to Minerva. Remember, I am an ambassador. I'll drop an affiliate link as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those off to the side. Oh, I dropped my little notes, so let me drop down and pick them up because the next items that I have, I actually picked up from a, um, a fabric swap here in Baltimore, but I did some research on it. So let me get those. You know, when you get me, guys, you're going to get the real deal. So let me tell you guys about this fabric that I picked up from a local fabric swap. I didn't know that it was a group of like-minded creatives who had put this kind of um, event together. They put it together, they said, about every six months. It was held this year at MICA, which is a really great um, art institute here in downtown Baltimore. And you bring patterns, uh, yarn, fabric any of those things that you no longer want. The whole purpose of it, in addition to swapping with other creatives, is really to keep things out of the landfill because let's be real, if you have things in your, your creative space that you're not using or haven't used in a very long time, sometimes we um, end up putting those things in the garbage and you know, tons and tons and tons of things end up in a, in, a, in a landfill, which is not earth friendly at all. So this organization gets together and they, they um, you know, pull together a fabric swap. It's free. You can come empty handed and walk out with as much or as little as you like. I actually took down, because they weigh it, because they want to get a general idea of how much actually went into the land or they prevent it going into the local landfill. And I brought down, I think, um, probably I donated 20 patterns. Um, some I had duplicates and or I bought, but they didn't really speak to me. So I donated patterns, but I also donated, I think, about 15 pounds of fabric. I've made things, maybe had a little extra, so somebody else might be able to use those. I was really good. I only picked up three fabrics from them. The first one is a pretty straightforward, it's black. There are about uh, two and a half yards of this. 
I'm going to say this is a cotton sateen because the shimmer on the fabric and I picked it up. Um, you can see it's in really great shape. Um, and I just figured we always need a little black fabric. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but this was something that I was like, ah, sometimes you need lining fabric for pockets or whatever. It's nice to have this. So I picked that up. The other two pieces I picked up, um, this I believe is a quilting fabric. And um, I always like to look at the selvage edge of a fabric. And on the selvage edge, many times you are going to find information about um, where the fabric was um, produced, who sells it, the actual designer. And this one says designs by JB. It is a Riverwoods collection. So I looked it up. And Riverwoods is actually a California-based fabric company. I believe it's wholesale, because I didn't see that you could buy it directly, but this is a fabric that is still available. And the fabric is actually called, I wrote it down, um, Brown Lines on Orange. So um, I think that's what this, is, this one is. It looks to me like it would be called um, let me, maybe I'm looking at the, let me look at the other side of it as well. Sorry to mumble a little bit, but I want to open it up so you can see it. So that's this one. And I'm guessing based on my limited experience or research on this, but it definitely is considered a quilting cotton. I could find it on Etsy. So for me, this was a really nice find. It sells right now for about $12.99 a yard. I picked it up because I could see myself making a really pretty, um, cotton button up blouse. I thought that would be really cool. Um, it also is giving off a little bit of Ankara vibes. I also see myself making a circle skirt or something else, but who knows? I thought it was really great. And I was able to, you know, I measured this and I want to say it's about three yards of fabric. So I'm really happy with that particular find. I like unique things and I thought that was really cool. Um, and then the third piece of fabric, not piece, because I got a lot of it, I picked up was this, another piece of maybe quilting fabric, but it speaks more to me. Look at those vibrant, vibrant colors. And that might be upside down. Um, vibrant colors, those bright oranges and yellows and blues and greens. I think this is perfect for... I think I could make probably a dress out of this. I like colors, so, you know, this really speaks to me. And there were six yards of this, guys. I thought maybe three when I got home and I measured it. Six yards. I could really do anything with it that I want. Honestly, this could even be fabric for um, Atlanta Frock Tales because it is giving off that whole garden vibe. So it is a quilting quilting cotton so it's a basic 100% cotton so you're not going to get a ton of drape with it and I looked at the selvage edge on this one as well and this is a Huffman um, fabric and the series is Call of the Wild Wild there are um, some numbers uh, 4688 so I looked that up and the actual name of this particular um, fabric is called Parrot and I think it I think that's the appropriate name for it. It is really, pure, really, really pretty. So six yards of that, and I'll figure out what I want to use. Um, and I just already put it on a little um, holder so I can put it up in my closet. Six yards is a lot. Sometimes I hang up my fabric literally on hangers in my closet. And if I have a lot of fabric like this, I will put it on these discarded, um, um, I don't know what you call these things, but they come from different places when you buy and an, an, a completely a complete um, bundle of um, fabric. And so I don't throw those away. I reuse them. All right. So those are my finds that I'm so excited about from Fabric Swap here in Baltimore. I'm going to try to post. Um, I know definitely on Instagram, I'll post the next time they, they do it and maybe share it or either go live from there because it was really amazing. So those are my fabric swap um, finds, and I still have a lot more. Okay, where do I go next? All right, Melanated Fabrics. Melanated Fabrics is actually in Atlanta, and it is a fabric store that's been in business. It's, it's an independent fabric store that was created by Mimi G. 
Everyone knows Mimi G. She is the queen of the sewing DIY world. Uh, by the way, I interviewed her on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, Yoga Bird Sews, go over and check out that, that um, interview with Mimi. She is just truly amazing. Um, but she and Brittany Jones, Brittany J. Jones, who also I interviewed over on Instagram, they owned Melanated Fabrics in Atlanta. And I was really excited about visiting the store, hadn't had a chance because of COVID and I hadn't been to Atlanta, but going for the frock tails in May, I had planned to stop in. Unfortunately, um, they, made, they, they announced probably three weeks ago that they were going to be closing their, their, their doors. So they have all of their fabric. So you can go now to melanatedfabrics.com. All of their fabric that they have still available is discounted. I purchased four items. I only was able to receive two because, you know, everybody's buying it. So that was all that was in stock of what I ordered. So of the items that I ordered from Melanated, one is a power mesh. So you may say this isn't necessarily a fabric, but good undergarments, and I'm going to say undergarments because I use a power mesh as um, a lining for usually a fitted dress or fitted top, good undergarments um, or a base cloth for your fitted garments is important. And this is a really nice one. You know, there's enough stretch and structure because for me, I don't necessarily want to make a dress and line it with something that, I, that constricts me so much that it limits my mobility and movement. This, I think, will hold me in, give me a little bit of support, but also um, allows me to continue to move, which is important. So I got a couple yards of this, and I was happy to find that because sometimes you can get it, but you only can get it at your local store in white. So I was, it was nice to be able to get a darker one. And then the other thing that I was able to pick up from Melanated Fabrics is this really beautiful faux leather. And let me look on my notes because I actually wrote down the name, the color. It is steel blue. It is a faux leather. You guys know I love to sew with, um, with leather, faux leather, um, because again, it's earth friendly. So I don't really do anything that's pure leather. I want to be good to, you know, the animals out there and the world and the earth. This is really beautiful, it has a gray, it's a steel blue, but it's really pretty. And I don't know, and it's, and it has a, um, you know, it's, it's lightweight. So I could honestly, I could make a dress out of this. I could make some pants out of it. I could make a jacket. I haven't decided and I'm not going to rush to make any decisions. I like to really think about, um, fabric like this and how I want to use it. So if you have ideas, drop them in the comments. And so with faux leather, there's no stretch in this direction, but usually with faux leather, you get a tiny bit of stretch. I like to you, I like that little bit of stretch because as a curvy girl, um, that little bit of stretch in a dress or in um, pants just allows me, again, it's all about movement and comfort. So I really, um, I like that about faux leather. So this is, this is really, really gorgeous. And I got about, this I think is two yards. So, um, you know, so I have to decide what I can make with that. And two yards, guys, I can definitely work with two yards. So really pretty. All right, so that is my melanated fabrics. And I'm so sorry, they're not gonna be in business anymore. I wanted to actually go in, feel and touch the things. They had so many amazing and beautiful um, pieces of fabric. All right, so I'm halfway done. Our local Joann's usually, well, Joann's period, usually there is a new Black History Month collection and a Women's History Month collection. I did not see any really, I did not see any new. Uh, and if, if I missed it, then I just missed it, but I, I didn't see any new fabrics from Joann's for Black History or Women's Month. But I happened to be on the site and I saw what they call Black History Month. It's a modal, modal fabric. Now, my husband picked this up while I was away, so I I'm opening it for the first time. And let's see how it feels, see how I like it. Because I didn't go into the store to pick it out myself. I ordered it um, for pickup at the register and my husband was kind enough to get it. So this, it's really, it has a like fleecy back, which is a little bit surprising because usually 
I don't know, a modal, um, I think of a different type of feel, but let's see. On the outside, what drew me to this was, um, or were these beautiful words. Um, it says solidarity, empowerment, um, freedom. Those are the things that really spoke to me. Um, this is a knit. So let's see about the stretch. So there's a tiny bit of stretch. Considering it's it's labeled as a knit, I would actually expect, let me look at this again and make sure. It says knit, so I would expect that it would have a little bit more stretch and I'm not feeling much. It's very little, um, which is disappointing because I really wanted to make like a um, blouse or something with it. And there's just a tiny bit of give in this direction. So I don't know, I'm gonna give this some thought. I'm not gonna cut into it yet um, because right now, I mean, I love, I love the design on it. I love those powerful, empowering words, but I'm sitting here or standing here saying, okay, based on how that feels, what are you going to be able to do with this? Um, and that part, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I'm going to hold on to it for a week. The nice thing about Joann's is I can always take my receipt and return it. This was not super cheap because it was a modal or modal um they're usually more expensive and they don't go on sale they're not you're not going to get these for three or four dollars a yard i think this was more like 10 or 12 dollars a yard and that included my military discount um so i have to be happy with the fabric to keep it so this one is one that is going to be in my you know i'm always going to give it to you straight this i love how it looks but the quality and the way that it feels, and I also worry a little bit that it's gonna pill a little bit. It just has that kind of feel. This feels more fleecy to me than anything else, but, um, and for the price of it, I don't know that I would wanna make winter pajamas or something out of it. So this one is a, ah, I was excited for that one. This one is a question mark for me, so. Um, put it off to the side. Let me know what you think about it. If you have ideas, I'm definitely 100% interested in them. Okay, so this other big bag of things, I went this past weekend, my first time ever to a sewing retreat in Dallas, Texas. It was put on by Sorority, Sorority, um, three beautiful women in Texas who, um, you know, all came out of historically black colleges and universities. Some of them have, um, have pledged, some have not um, a sorority and just started thinking about sewing and like sewing and that sort of thing and bringing together that whole kind of um, sorority fraternal kind of feel that you get that community building around a, um, a, a around sewing, sewing, right? So um, they hosted their second ever uh, retreat. I didn't make the first one. This is my first one. It was a, a three-night, four-day retreat in, um, you know, about an hour away from Dallas, Fort Worth. I didn't know what to expect. It was really amazing. 25 amazing, beautiful women were there creating, sharing, designing, um, different kind of challenges. There were incredible um, sponsors. I actually won a FOF overlocker. I cannot wait. I literally was in tears, so incredibly touched. Uh, there was a competition and um, Joann's had donated some fabric. Joann's was one of our sponsors as well, with these sponsors. And I made something out of it and everyone got to vote. So I, I mean, it was just amazing guys all the way across. I posted some pictures on Instagram and on threads, uh, but an incredible experience. If you've never been to a sewing retreat, um, again, this is my first and my only, I can only speak to that. Um, I thought it was great. There was shared housing, of course. We had twin beds. The beds were comfortable, small, but they were comfortable. Um, communal bathrooms, which were kept clean. Um, really a great group of women. It was um, catered, so our meals were brought in, except when we went out for one meal together. There was some fabric shopping. So where am I going with all of this long story? Fabric shopping. So one of the days we were there, we had a driver pick us up in a van. He was amazing. And they took us to, I'm going to call it Dallas's Fabric District. 
Um, it may be called something different, but there were four different stores right next to each other. And the names of those stores, Fabric Warehouse, Fabric Topia, Fabric Mart, or DFW Fabric Mart, and Best Fabrics. And so I went through all four of the stores and overwhelming. It was just, I was, I was overwhelmed because these are not tiny boutique stores. These are huge warehouses of fabric, very well organized and labeled. And reason you can get some really expensive things, but you could also find a lot of very reasonably priced pieces of fabric. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of fabric here. I also have a fair amount of a stash. So I didn't want to just go in and like gobble, gobble, gobble and take home stuff. I wanted to be very thoughtful about what I purchased. So let me share with you what I got during our trip there. Um, in one of the last stores, um, there was a table of all different colors of poly cotton. So poly cotton, I looked at that and I thought to myself, wide leg, pleated pants. And so immediately I knew I wanted it, but I didn't know what color. I thought this royal blue looked really good on my skin tone. And you can see that they're lightweight. They're a little bit, you can see through it a little bit, but with pants, I think that's gonna be really great. Um, I mean, fine, because you're not gonna see completely through it. Um, I definitely will be making a pair of wide leg pants sooner versus later. And so let me get you up a little bit closer. Very beautiful, gorgeous, royal blue. This is a poly cotton. And I'm going to say that I got, I think I purchased three yards of it. And it was, um, again, this is all based on my memory. I wanna say this was three or $4 a yard, maybe five, not terribly, maybe it was a little bit more than that, but it wasn't terribly expensive. So poly cotton. Um, in one of the other stores, and forgive me that I didn't jot down the exact store where I purchased it because, again, I was on overload. <gasps> Look at that. Now, I don't believe they can call this Louis Vuitton fabric. I call it a knockoff um, fabric. And I am going to be making um, likely a fitted dress out of this fabric. Um, I love the stretch. It is a four-way stretch. I wanna make a fitted um, dress out of it. And I, the dress I want is one that's gonna be um, basically uh, no sleeves, right? No sleeves fitted um, with just uh, kind of binding here and at the neck and fitted. And I already have it in my mind which kind of dress I wanna do. And one that stops probably about an inch or two above my knees. And I can either dress that up or I could wear sandals throughout the summer going to almost any event. Really, really pretty. Again, um, I cannot call this Louis Vuitton fabric because I don't think that it's licensed Louis Vuitton. I'm calling it a knockoff, um, but I thought it was really pretty. And so I went on and treated myself. This was not what I would call inexpensive. It wasn't terribly expensive, but yeah. So kind of middle of the road. And I believe that I got, um, I want to say about three yards because I knew I could do almost anything with um, the three yards. So that's really nice. I'm happy about that. You know, this is something that there's no way that I would have been able to find this locally. And that's kind of what I was looking for is things I couldn't find locally. Now, the poly cotton is a more basic. This is not. Um, the other things that I got while I was there, I got a couple of serger threads and I'm hoping they'll be okay. I usually stick to um, uh, the maxi um, lock thread, um, which my serger um, likes, tolerates well, but I was out of black thread. These were $2.50. They're pretty big spools of serger thread and let's, fingers crossed, it works out okay. So I have, I got a couple of those and then um, our post took us to it's not a trim store, it's um, like a patch store. I did not write the name of it because we had 10 minutes to get in and out. I didn't take any photos because I knew I wanted to shop. She's like, you have 10 minutes. So I took off and went in and these are, sorry about the little crinkles as I open up the package. 
these are the things that I picked up. This is a patch. Hopefully you can see that dopamine, melanin, and uh, I'm gonna put that on something. Don't know what, I'll be holding on to that. A couple other patches, beautiful. Beautiful black woman, beautiful colors. I love that one. And this one, of course, I am a Zeta. And so that spoke to me. <clears throat> you don't have to be a Zeta to use this, but the Royal Blue really spoke to me. And then um, I bought this. Now, disclaimer, if you are part of a, um, a um, incorporated chartered sorority or fraternity, to be able to sell, not if you're part of them, but for any vendor to be able to sell those kinds of goods, they should be licensed. I do not know whether or not this organization was licensed. It doesn't say Zeta Phi Beta, it just says Soror. Um, so I wanted you, I want to place that, that disclaimer there because you're supposed to be licensed to be able to sell any of those particular items. This is another patch that I got. It's called Black, Blessed, and Beautiful. And then I got this one with the continent of Africa, really pretty colors, and it just says love. I like to do upcycles, and I see myself making a duster type upcycled um, denim um, with no sleeves. And um, actually one of the um, women there Rel sews um, had one on and I've, I've made my own but I'm telling you she inspired me so much and so I'm going to be using some of these patches on that and this was just an inexpensive one that just says look it's just pretty basic but cute um, oh I got this from one of the other stores this was in their remnant bin and it's just elastic the color of it doesn't matter because it's pretty much going to be hidden but this is good for if you're making bonnets or if you are uh, making something with a sleeve and you want very light thread, I um, mean, light elastic to um, for the cuff on the sleeve or something like that. So I got that. Um, also in line with my sorority, my sorority, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated was um, incorporated in 1920 at Howard University. And so I picked up these individual um, numbers. I'm, I know I have them in the wrong order. But basically, it's 1920, and I'm going to put that on one of my sorority jackets or a sweatshirt. Oh, I forgot. I got a couple more. Guys, I got so happy in there for 10 minutes. Black Lives Matter because Black Lives Matter. Um, Black Girl Magic. And then this is the final piece that I got out of actually one of the other stores, and I don't remember which one. And it's just a, a denim um, kind of... Uh, butterfly that I see myself putting on the back of maybe my upcycled denim duster that I know that I want to make. Uh, let's see. At the retreat, now this isn't something that, these things are not things that I actually purchased, but they were part of the retreat. When you walked into um, your assigned bedroom, there were gifts and stuff on the bed, courtesy of our sponsors. Um, there was this cute little bag that's really cute. And then I believe it was Joanne's gifted, uh, and this was in our bags as well. It's Fiskars. I'm going to unpack this today. Three different pair of scissors, five inch, seven, and eight inch. And it's in purple as well because colors for sorority are um, pink and um, purple. So Fiskars is a really great um, brand um, for scissors. And... That's it as far as my goodies that I have here. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys, because when I got back from my trip, I had so many different things here. While I was there, one of my um, one of my friends, actually my roommate, Deja, who is amazing, and she has her own channel here on YouTube, she brought her own um, ironing mat. And yes, I could make this. I could make this. I have the products, but I thought... Um, you know, it was so cool. It's just basically a wool ironing mat. And what I'm going to do is with some scrap cotton, I'm going to cover this and, you know, give it its own little look and vibe. Um, and then it also came with a shoe plate for, um, your iron. I won't need this. So I will gift this to another friend. I don't need it because I have an Oliso iron 
And the Oliso iron has, um, when you take your hand off of it, the foot actually lifts the iron automatically away from whatever is on your ironing board. So you never have to worry about burning up anything with the Oliso. So I don't need the iron shoe, but I will give this away. Um, speaking of Oliso line um, irons, if you happen to be watching this during um, this week through, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think that the challenge ends on March 15th. I am hosting a challenge on Instagram. So go to my Instagram page in um, Yoga Bird Sews. Links are all here so you don't have to worry about finding it. Links are right here um, in my bio or I'll put them down below in the description to keep it nice and easy for you. Um, but I'm hosting a challenge there and all that you have to do is like the post, follow the sponsors, which are Oliso Home. So you can get one of those full size irons that I just mentioned that has that, that lift. So you don't have to burn any garments and that sort of thing, which is really great. And it, it, that thing is the lifting and the lowering happens when you actually, it's activated when you touch the handle of the iron. So you touch the handle of the iron and the foot raises, you release it and the foot drops to, to lift the iron from the ironing mat. Um, so on, on Instagram, I'm hosting a challenge and go over there. Um, if you're watching this before March 16th, I think it is, don't quote me, um, and just join. I mean, you can win your own Oliso iron. I'm also um, very grateful to our other sponsor, which is Minerva.com. And they have so many amazing fabrics, guys, and they are providing $50, a $50 gift card for one of their, their exclusive fabrics, and they have a ton to choose from. So that's really great. So make sure that you're following. Um, and then the last thing that I have, and I think I've gone through all of my goodies, the last thing that I have has nothing to do with sewing. It's just because I'm a dopamine girl and I love colors. <sighs> I have an, a, an Apple Watch and I love to be able to just change out my bands based on what I'm wearing. I found this on Amazon, inexpensive, and I think that there are eight different bands here and the colors are popping, maybe it's 10, and so many different colors. And so it's just so easy to slide your band on and off. And so based on where you are, what you're doing, you can always switch out your band. They also have um, a black one. So if you just wanna be basic on any given day, you can, but I love that. So that's the other thing. It, um, my affiliate link for my Amazon store is below and I'll make sure to link these because I like them. I only put things in my Amazon store that I use and I love. If I don't love it, I'm not gonna put it in there. I'm gonna tell you the truth about how I feel about it. What you can see is true because when I opened up this fabric, I'm like, eh. But other than that, I'm gonna say that everything in my March haul, I'm incredibly happy about the fabric, um, the notions, the sundry things as well. Um, so super happy with everything. Um, I hope that this has been um, fun. I hope that you've learned something. Please drop your comments below if you have any thoughts on what I can make with any of this fabric, any ideas, any particular patterns, things that you may want to see um, in my content. Please feel free to let me know. I appreciate you guys stopping through. Please share this with other people. Let other people know that I'm here. And um, don't forget to subscribe. That's all that I have today for you guys. Again, my name is Bird. And thank you for being here and being a part of my sewing journey.